What's up guys, Dylan here, and welcome to Advent of Code, day number six. Um, if you find the solution helpful, leave a like and leave any question comments uh, down below. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what do we have here? Custom customs. As your flight approaches the airport, we're gonna switch to a larger plane and we have custom declarations forms. We need to answer 26 questions A through Z. So it could be any question A through Z. And we just need to identify if anyone in our group answers yes, but it's just me, so it doesn't take long. But the person sitting next to us needs our help. And so they're gonna give some responses, it looks like. And so they've given six different letters. So then we have multiple questions. So ABC, that's three. ABC, that's three. AB and AC, again, that's three. Okay, then this only counts as one. So it looks like we're looking for unique letters. And then, so, okay, so I think we're gonna get our puzzle input. So these are all the responses. I think each line represents one person. And we just have to see how many unique letters are in this whole block of text here. So that shouldn't be too bad. I think it's going to be similar to one of the previous days. So if we go ahead and paste that in there, let's go ahead and get started. So let's read in with input. Nope, I made that mistake before. With uh, open input6.txt as file. And we'll see data is equal to file.read lines. And then data is equal to line.strip for line in data. Okay, that's good to go. So if we print, if we print data, then it should look good. Perfect, so this is just like the other day where uh, we have blocks of text and then the, the, blank, the blank line indicates that, um, that we're done with that entry. So let's go ahead and say for, well, let's not print data anymore. Let's say, okay, so we're gonna have a current response. So I guess this is just for the current block of text. Uh, current response and that'll be equal to empty string and then we're going to say for line in data if line is not equal to empty line so basically we're still in the same block of text then we can say current response we can add the line to the current response but if it is a blank line, then that means that we've reached the end and we should test for how many unique answers there are. So then we can say else. And well, we wanna know the sum. So sum is equal to zero to start. And then I think what we're gonna do is let's write a function to return how many unique answers there are. So. Uh, let's say def get unique answers and we'll give it a response for the group. Okay, so what do we need to say? Well, first of all, let's, so we need to think of a way so that we can keep track of and decide which characters are unique. So, okay, so I think if we use a list, we can say questions, so this is just the questions that we've answered yes to. So questions is equal to a blank list, right? And then we'll say, and so response is just a huge long, it's gonna be a long string. These, like for example, these two strings put down here at the bottom, put together. So for character in response, we'd say if, char if the char uh, not in questions, um, then questions.append. 
So this will only add question uh, the character to the questions list if it hasn't been been seen yet. So this way we're not adding duplicates. And then if we return the length of questions, then we'll get how many times uh, we'll just get how many unique responses there are. I hope. Okay, so we go back down here to our loop, and if we say um, so, we could just say sum plus equal to the number of unique responses for that line. So get unique answers, current response. And then now we're gonna move on to the next block. So we should set current response back equal to blank. Otherwise we'd be testing the same line again. And then let's go ahead and check the end. Okay, so this is just like the other day. So if we check the end here, it doesn't end with a blank line. So that means for this last block of text here, it's never gonna hit this part of where it checks, but uh, the full block will be in current response. So we can just tell it uh, one more time, sum plus equals um, get unique answers and current response. So we'll just manually check for the last line. And I think that should be it. So if we print some now, six, eight, seven, eight, let's go ahead and try it. All right, we are good to go. So on to part two. Um, okay here, so as we finish the customs declaration, you notice that we misread one of the words in the instructions. You don't need to identify questions which anyone answered, we need to identify the questions everyone answered. Okay, so it looks like we're not looking for letters that just appear once in the entire response block. I think we need to identify letters that appear each, uh, appear in every single line. So let's just double check. So one, one line and all those are in. Okay, so that's just three. No question in number two, no question. Okay, so none of these letters exist in all the lines. Okay, that's pretty easy, I think. Okay, so we're just gonna sort of do the same structure as the first line, or as the first part, so we'll say part two. So let's go ahead and start with sum is equal to zero once again. Current response, and this time, I think it'll be easier if we separate each block of text into, instead of one single string where we put them all together, if we, if we keep the lines separated for this response in a list. So that way we can check if the characters in each uh, line of the list. So, and then we'll say for line and data once again. Okay, so if line is not equal to blank, then we can add the line current response dot end. So we'll add the line to the current response. Current response dot append else. And we're going to write another quick function here. So let's just say def get. Um, what do we even call the first one? Get unique answer. Okay, let's get, get unique, get, uh, I don't know, what should we call this? Let's be creative today. Get unique answer all. Yes, very creative, big brain, big brain. Um, and so we're gonna take a response is list. So list of responses for a particular group. And then, so then we can say questions again, so keep track of the questions. And I think if I'm not mistaken, we still don't want duplicates. So let's keep that in mind here. So then we'll say, okay, so I think my thinking here is we just need to check the characters in the first line uh, because if a character isn't in the first line, then that auto automatically means we don't want to count that character. So we'll just say for character, in response so in the first line and then we can check if that character is also in the other lines of the response um so we'll say 
So for character and responses, and then for line in responses. So that'll give us uh, the whole line. For line in responses, well, hmm, how are we gonna see if it's in all the lines? Okay, I got an idea. So we'll say, we'll make a Boolean variable in all lines is going to be equal to, to true. So we'll assume it's true by default. And then for line in responses, if the character is not in line, then in all lines is going to equal false. So if it is indeed in all the line, in all lines, then we'll never get there. Okay, so then we'll say, then we'll say if, no, we still want it inside the character loop. If the, if the char is in all lines and char not in list. So that way we make sure that there are no duplicates and that should be questions. And let's go ahead and make that nice right there. Then questions dot append character. And then once again, at the very end, after we check all the characters, we can return the length of the unique, uh, of the amount of the unique responses that appear in every single line. Okay, so this should just be the same as before. So sum plus equals um, get unique answers all current response current response and this time we'll set it equal to a blank list and then let's once again check the last item sum plus equals get unique answers current response and print sum so fingers crossed no errors in the code and you know that you know that just it never works so let's see what we got here um, I think, oh, it's because we appended nothing. Line. Okay, fingers crossed again. 1992. Let's test it out. It's good that it's less than our original answer. Not the right answer. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see what's going on here. Um... Hmm, let's see here. So I think the, the the problem is probably in this function somewhere. So in all lines, oh, this is it. In all lines, that needs to be reset for each character. So something silly is that. Okay, let's go ahead and run again. Three, four, six, four. Okay, that actually feels like it's probably a better answer because it's a little higher. And what did I say? Three, four, six, four. And we got the correct answer. So there you have day six for Advent of Code 2020. If you found the video helpful, leave a like and drop any questions into the comments below. And I'll see you tomorrow for day seven.